Alright, let's go ahead and use the Spectrum 2100 Smart Charger to charge a couple batteries. First, let's start with the Smart Battery. This is our 5000 milliamp 2 cell 50C pack, a very common battery for RC car applications. Simply by plugging in the main lead, like so, give it a moment, it'll start giving us all the smart data that's already on the microchip in the pack. I'm gonna hit number one first, and we'll scroll through and we can see what's on here. It shows us what the internal temperature is, type of battery it is, and it shows us how many cycles have been on it. It's been charged one time, and it's been over-discharged that one time. And that, during that over-discharge, it looks like it overheated. So those are good specs for you to be able to look at to be able to determine the health of somebody's battery. Let's go ahead and get it charging. It's always best to go ahead and plug in our balance lead into the main balance lead here on channel one. And then if we press the middle button, we can simply hit start and it'll start charging. On top of that, if we hit the button again, we can adjust the current. So let's say we want to charge a little faster, we can start turning it all the way up. This is a 3C battery that we recommend charging at, so it can charge at up to 15 amps. This charger's max current is 12 amps. And once it's done charging, it'll hit 4.2 volts per cell, and it'll alarm at us, and the light on the front will turn blue. Let's go ahead and charge a non-smart battery. We've got a four cell thrust E-Flight battery here. It has an EC3 connector. Let's go ahead and charge it on the channel two port. We'll plug in the EC connector here. And we'll plug in our main balance lead into channel two. As you could tell, it doesn't say smart on the top there like it would with this one because it's not a smart battery and we're not going to get all the smart data out of it, obviously, because it's not a smart battery. But we can still charge it, no problem. Let's hit the number two, tap on the center button, and because this isn't a smart battery, we do need to put in the parameters. So it's a four cell, luckily it knows that already, but we do need to adjust the current. Let's adjust the current to it says this battery is a 3C max charge rate. It's a 3200, so let's charge it at 9.6. Go down and hit start. And now we have two batteries charging on our dual port S2100 smart charger. Once we see the top bar turn green, that's why we know it's fast charging done, and then blue means the full charge is done. And we can review the data after it's done charging. We can see that that counter in the top left hand corner is the total charge time. So it took it 11 minutes exactly to charge this pack. We can see the internal resistance of the pack. It's pretty good, 3.5 and 2.6 on both cells. This data is how many packs have been charged this day. So that's with that one day calendar and then how many packs have been charged in the total of its lifetime. Go back here. And then we will get another cycle count once we run the battery down and then back up again. It's still putting in a little bit of amperage because it's trying to keep it peaked and it's trying to keep these cells balanced. One thing to note is that when you have two batteries charging on the S2100 charger, it is sharing the full 200 watts between the two ports. If you're only using one battery, it is only using 180 watts on the one port. So if you're only charging on one port, you can potentially charge faster one battery at a time. But it's always good to have two going.